Ciao everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, my home is Christmas. And tomorrow I'm having a small dinner party for Lorenzo, Mauro, and of course, Michela. And one of the desserts I'm going to be preparing is one of Mauro's favorite childhood memories of his grandmother preparing castagnelli. And this is what I'm going to be baking today. Now let's get started. We're going to start with preparing the dry ingredients first. To begin with, one cup of granulated sugar, the zest of one lemon, one packet of vanilla powder. If you don't have this, you can use a teaspoon of vanilla bean extract. I'm going to give this a really vigorous mix because I want the zest of the lemon to ooze into the sugar. So I'm going to do this for about five minutes. All the lemon juices are in the sugar. Oh. The smell is incredible. To this I'm going to add one cup of zero zero flour. One cup of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. Teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of cinnamon. I love the smell of cinnamon. A quarter teaspoon of cloves. Two cups roasted and coarsely chopped almonds. We're gonna start with the wet ingredients now. I'm just going to scramble one egg. To the egg, uh, scrambled egg, I'm going to add two teaspoons of almond extract. Three quarter cup of fresh espresso. Okay, now to the wet ingredients, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cognac. I'm going to put the wet ingredients in my mixer with a paddle. I'm just going to add one tablespoon at a time to the wet mixture. Now for bench flour you're going to want to use zero zero flour as well. Use as much as you need. You don't want the dough sticky. I have a tray here with parchment paper. Uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to roll these out to about half an inch. A half inch rope. I'm going to make these about um, half an inch in diameter and I'm going to make them two inches long. Now traditionally they're cut on an angle so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to place them on the tray. How beautiful. Okay, again half an inch in diameter. I'm going to make them two inches long. My castagnelli are ready for the oven. Um, I'm going to place them in my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 12 to 13 minutes. I will watch them. The castagnelli are cooling down and while they're cooling down, I'm going to prepare the lemon glaze. Three cups of icing sugar. To the icing sugar, I'm going to add the juice of a lemon. This is not as fluid as I would like, so I'm just gonna add a little more lemon juice. My castagnelli have cooled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk them in my lemon glaze. Okay, I'm gonna say it. You can only smell my kitchen. My first batch of castagnelli are ready. I must tell you, I did double dip some of them and some I left single dipped. And now I'm going to taste one for you. Ooh. It tastes like Christmas. Absolutely delicious. Mauro is going to be thrilled with this recipe tomorrow. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And it's Caterina from my home to yours. Don't forget to hit your like button. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.